Hello friends, welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie and today we are thrifting at Goodwill. I found quite a few amazing little goodies in store today. It was a pretty awesome trip. Uh, but I am going to be showing you my haul differently today. Nicole North Garden suggested that I incorporate my haul throughout my video as I find the items and I think I'm going to give that a try to see how it does. That original idea was from the Thrilled Thrifter so I thought that would be fun. You guys must let me know down in the comments whether or not you like this idea. I thought it would be fun. You get to see what I find and what I bring home right then and there. And then if I have something styled at the end of the video, I will still add it to the end. As you can see, there was quite a bit to look at today. There are some um, pieces that, you know, my Goodwill has not had a great turnover rate yet as of lately, but I think these canisters up here are really, really pretty. I can't remember the brand. They had a trademark of MS, so I'm wondering if that was Martha Stewart. I don't know, but they were really nice quality. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. <laughs> How fun. I was recently told by a viewer that I look at boring stuff. So I'm trying to branch out a little bit and look at stuff that maybe isn't, you know, I don't decorate with pink, but I think it's pretty. So I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> I'm not sure why I don't pick up the teapot, the little farm teapot back there. That's kind of neat. But I do like this. I thought this was a pretty cool piece. Isn't that neat? It's so pretty. I loved this piece. It is a newer piece, I believe, anyway, but it had these beautiful oak leaves on it. Oh my goodness, it was just so pretty and a, like a true classic design. 
that could you could use all year round. The platters down here at the bottom right there, those are Syracuse China and they are so beautiful. I have featured them before in other videos. They are still sitting here. I can't believe it. I am trying to, you know, be selective with my um, pieces. I have a lot of platters and they don't stack well and they don't store well <laughs> and I'm so afraid of breaking them. But those were teal and teal is not a color that I decorate with so they have stayed at the store. Oh goodness, just so got a cart full. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> a whole bunch of huge clothing. I'll say. <laughs> oh, those are kind of cute. I like those. They look kind of small. They do kind of look small. No, more like the, I don't got those are, ooh, jammies. Hello Kitty jammies. <laughs> they look also big. I bought it. Okay. Well, I need to finish recording. Whoa. Is that a, what is that? It's kind of like a well, it's, yeah, it looks kind of like a car heart, but the label doesn't look great. Huh? <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look at her outfit. <laughs> Eric, you're so fun, Josie. <laughs> Your outfit. It's fun. In case you were wondering, Josie and I had decided not to purchase any of those clothing. One, they were either shabby, too big, or whatever, but we didn't come home with any of them. Then I did finally go ahead and break down and purchase a set of four of the Courier and Eyes um, cups and saucers. I think they are gorgeous and um, I finally broke down and, and grabbed a few. I'm thinking I might go grab two more if they have two more just so there is enough for a play setting for each member of our family but I don't think I'm going to have like a huge collection of this just enough for our family members to, for a play setting. And then I also thought that come when Christmas is over I can replace my trees and some of my red with these guys to go in my hutch to make a super simple transition into winter.
I have always enjoyed this corningware pattern. These types of items did sell for me when I had my Etsy shop open, um, but I don't sell, so I left that behind. This right here I contemplated pretty hardcore on whether or not I was going to bring it home. I thought it would be cute on the side of my cabinets or hanging on the wall, uh, but I didn't bring it home. This was being contemplated pretty hardcore as well. I thought it would be really cute as a centerpiece or even flipped on its side as a little shelf for little tiny tchotchkes. I always check the bins. The bins are what is coming out for them to put on the shelves. At our Goodwills, we are encouraged to go through the bins because then they don't have to stock them their, themselves, right? So, um, yeah. And I usually find one or two good items in here. Ta-da! I did grab the two, uh, what are these called, taper candles, uh, the swirl design, I can't remember what they're called, but they were 99 cents each. They were brown and they're in perfect shape, still in the wrapper, so I grabbed these to bring home to give to my friend Robin Johnson here on YouTube. She collects these and I have not been able to find her anything for quite a while, so, and to find two brown ones, I thought they'd be so cute in fall decor, so I grabbed these for her. I did grab that hoop with the candle on it. It does have a battery in it and it does work, so that was exciting. This is the second one of these that I bought. This was called the Heritage Colonial Candle. I can't exactly remember, but the first one I purchased was new in package, although vintage, and this one was $3.99. The, I, unfortunately, the new in package one that I purchased 
got ruined. We had some water damage a couple of years back in our crawl space. So I was excited when I found this one as well. And it does have the patina on it. Um, and I think it is really, really cute. I love this so much. I thought this piece was really fun. I thought it would be so much fun for somebody to hang it in their cabin up north because basically everybody in the Midwest has some place to go up north, <laughs> except for me. I don't have a place up north. All the tiles and coasters over here. I thought that these looked like lids to refrigerator dishes. They say Becca wear, I think, with birds on them. It was really hard for me to read them, but um, I'm not exactly sure. What do you guys think? Do you, are they refrigerator dish lids? I've not heard of this brand before.
every holiday season, my Goodwill tends to leave one entire end cap and just put all the snowmen there. They've done it every year since I started going here, um, and I think it's so fun just to look at all of the different snowmen. This Santa is a menu board. How cool is that? You prop the slate up in his hand and then it rests behind his foot. I thought that was such a neat idea, Chef Santa. I have recently unpacked my grandmother's Christmas village and it is called Cobblestone Christmas. So now I'm going around looking for more Cobblestone Christmas village pieces. I think it's going to be so fun to hunt for them. I'm going through the craft section now and I'm noticing that there is quite a few of these lace ornaments um, that you know the embroidery kits and I thought they were really neat uh, I took my time and searched through them I was thinking about bringing them home for my Etsy shop but I don't really want to open that up right now <laughs> so I decided not to do that but I did bring one home with me this guy came home with me. Um, cardinals mean something in my family, so I grabbed this one. I do want to learn how to cross stitch. I have not done that before, um, and I know the trick is to make the back look just as good as the front, so my grandmother taught me that when we used to do um, the plastic canvas work when I was a little girl, and I actually got pretty good at that, so I'm hoping that this is sort of similar although I know that I will need an embroidery hoop. So I can't wait to get my fingers working on this little guy. It looks like it has everything that I need, although I may not use this. I may just put it in a frame. I thought that would be pretty for next Christmas season. So I am going to get to work on that. And as you can see, there were a lot of really beautiful designs. I really loved this one here. And then there was a church one as well that I really enjoyed. I almost brought that one home. And because I found all the cute embroidery, um, I'm sorry, across the stitch patterns, I figured I'd keep digging and boy, oh boy, look what I found. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, I am not this skilled. So I left these at home, or I'm sorry, at the store for someone else. I know that they do sell for a good little bit of money as well, but I can't believe I found these brand new in the package. That is so cool.
And as I kept digging, Josie and I both found keys, bags of skeleton keys, you know, crafting keys, <laughs> in different locations in the store, but there was so many of them. Um, we had fun with that. Okay, friends, Bacardi something Vegas road trip. What is that? They're super heavy. I know it's like Bacardi is rum, right? But what the heck is this? It's so heavy. It's in <laughs> oh, little skates. I like the littler ones. These ones are cute right here. There's some pictures up there for people with big walls. Big pictures for big walls. <laughs> I decided to check out the furniture quick looking for you know just something <laughs> but I didn't find anything on this day but then I found Pippi in the glass case who remembers Pippi I adored Pippi she played on Saturday morning cartoons for me in upstate New York and I loved her I'm pointing out a Home Depot there and then in the back there's some super cute turtles up there they're hard to see <laughs> And then I'm making my second pass around and I thought this guy was really cool. It's a Roseville pottery uh, pitcher, but the glaze on it wasn't brown. It was like a purpley color and I had not seen that before with that like brown drip at the top. That was really neat. And then there's an ironstone piece down here as well. Now, if you're new here, I don't buy pieces that have metallic paint on them because my kids will put it in the microwave. I don't use my ironstone pieces, but I won't buy them or bring them home just in case my kids decide to do something crazy with them, like put them in the microwave anyway. I brought home this little Nantucket basket. It was $2.99. Um, I love this style basket specifically. I don't know why, just that Nantucket, New England style I love so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. I They did have two. I grabbed the darker of the two, the one with the more patina, because that's what I like. Um, I like the age to it. And I thought these would be really cute to hang from my peg rail in my kitchen. So that is what I brought this home for. And then last but not least, I did grab a bunch of this stainless steel silverware. It's um, nice and heavy uh, silverware, so it's nice. But um, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say because my children throw our silverware away. They take it to their rooms, which is a no-no in my house, but they do it anyway. That's like their thing. And um, then when it comes time to clean their room, they I'm pretty sure they throw it away instead of bringing it up and rinsing and loading. So I just grabbed a bunch more spoons and forks because that's what always goes missing. <laughs> 